And one of the penultimate items in Dr. Inos' act was something known as second sight, sometimes called clairvoyance or even telepathy. Today, though, it's simply known as mind reading. Traditionally, though, second sight was a two-person act. One person would have been blindfolded on stage, the other would go down into the audience and pick up various objects. And the person blindfolded could then accurately describe what the objects were. But Enos' version was different because he used an old palmistry hand, which I have in here. And a ring. Instead of using an accomplice on stage, he'd use somebody from the audience, as I'm going to do now. Someone, I hope, who, who can keep a reasonably good uh, poker face. So if I could maybe go for, let's see, the gentleman over there. Would you mind helping me? No? no? <laughs> That's right, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, come on. You sure? Yes. Thank you so much. Give him a hand. Yeah. Would you guys come this side for me here? Thank you for helping. What's your name? Dean. Dean. Uh, Dean, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a golf professional. Okay. Sometimes it has a bearing on what we're about to do, and sometimes it doesn't. This may actually. Um, do you play cards at all? No. No. Would you say you're only good at lying? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll ask my wife. <laughs> this is kind of like a lie test. What I'd like you to do is you're going to copy me exactly. You're going to hold your hand out like this. From the little finger all the way over to the thumb, you're just going to move the ring like this over the tops of the fingers. So just do that for me now. Excellent. He has a very steady hand. This is going to work for this well. If I go over here, um, I promise I'm not looking, Dean. I'm just going to cover my eyes. Would you please just drop the ring down onto any of the fingers or the thumb? And then take the handkerchief on the table and cover it up so I can't see what you've done. And let me know when I can turn around. <laughs> yeah? Happy? Yeah. I didn't mention this, but we're going to have a little bet, you and me. Oh. <laughs> the bet is for £50. I'm going to place a £50 note down here, and uh, if this goes your way, you can take it back. All right? All right? Just face me for a second. Hold one hand up in the air. I'm just going to touch the tops of your fingers. Don't give anything away about which one you've chosen down there. Little finger, ring finger, middle finger, forefinger, thumb. Good. Now, some people give it away with uh, what we call a shadow movement, which is usually a blink or a twitch or a swallow, some kind of unconscious release that uh, demonstrates you're lying at that particular point. But that wasn't the case with Dean because uh, he's very methodical, and I kind of got the impression that he would hold a very fixed expression at the very moment he was lying. Yes. So that means that it was the <laughs> forefinger. It was the forefinger, wasn't it? Is that right, Dean? Yes, there it is, the forefinger. <laughs> we'll do this again, all right? Best out of three. Best out of three. Let's do this again. So, Dean, take the, the ring for me here. Just hover it over the tips of the fingers from the little finger all the way over to the thumb in a nice, steady rhythm, all the way over, all the way back. Keep it moving all the way over, all the way back. That's very good. Some people think I'm looking in that mirror there. I'm honestly not, so I'm going to go right here to the door frame. Dean, drop the uh, ring down for me, please. Have you done that? Yeah. Would you take the handkerchief and just cover it up so I can't see what you've done? And let me know when I can turn around. Okay. Happy? Yes, very. <laughs> Should we bet again? Shall I up the bet this time? How about we? Uh, how about we bet hundred pounds, ladies and gentlemen? I'll give Dean hundred pounds this time. It's, you know, I want to try something here. Hold your hand up for me. Uh, okay, I'm just going to hold your hand here like this. Just think about where it is, but don't give it away. Little finger. Forefinger, middle finger, forefinger. Well, it was the forefinger again, wasn't it? I thought it was. I thought it was. It was there we go. So last time, third time lucky or double equipped. All right, here you go. Again, take the ring for me, just from the thumb all the way over to the little finger. All the way over, all the way back. But there's one thing I want to tell you, actually. One of the ways you used to be able to cheat doing this was to have a little mirror in your hand known as a shiner. And you would shine it back so that you could sort of see what you wanted to. 
I'm not doing anything of the sort, though some people think maybe I must be able to see. I can't. Could I ask you, sir, to cover my eyes just for a moment? So I'm pretty much blind without my glasses anyway. But if you would just cover my eyes for a second here, completely cover them. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, would you drop the ring down onto any of the fingers or the thumb? Have you done that? Yeah. Just take the handkerchief and cover it up so I can't see what you've done. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're good. Think he's, he's finished? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So the last one is the hardest. I can't guarantee to get this one, okay? This is the hardest one of all. Uh, but I'm going to bet £150 of my money. I'm feeling generous tonight. Hold your hand up for a second here. <laughs> Just bring your hand forward like this. Just think about where it is. It little finger, ring finger, middle finger, forefinger, or thumb. I'm not entirely sure. I think it could be one of two. Uh, I think it might either be the thumb or the little finger. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the thumb? Did you choose the thumb that time? Ah, oh, no, and it was a little finger as well. I did, uh, I, I got very close, I got very close on that one, but I did lose the bet, so that means, unfortunately, I have to give Dean £150 of my money. You're not bad. However, <laughs> this is all a scam. These aren't even real £50 notes. Good luck spending them. You see, I knew that Dean's first choice was going to be the forefinger because I wrote it on the back earlier tonight. I knew his second choice would obviously also be the forefinger. But do you know what? I was just joking on the last one. Of course I knew he was going to pick the little finger. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for helping. Thank you.